Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and in this video, we'll be checking out the new added features to the update of Serum. So we're now in version 1.20, and I'm in version 1.202, which is the beta above the official release. So let's dive right in. All right, the first new feature, and it's a really cool feature, probably one of the uh, coolest ones of this update, is the ability to resize Serum's GUI, and you have two ways to do it. You can go up to the Serum logo at the top left, and you can click on it, and you can select anywhere from 50% which will make it quite small, all the way up to 400% if you have the absolute largest, biggest monitor in the world, or if you just want to check out Serum in all its high-res glory. So let's go back to 100%. You can also go down here to the bottom on where these three diagonal tick marks appear, and you can resize that way. So whichever way floats your boat. Now this is nice, obviously, because different monitors, different DAWs, different environments, it's nice to be able to resize the GUI. But in a synth like Serum, where you actually kind of, sometimes I've, I've actually wanted to be able to zoom in on things, is actually really cool. If editing bins and partials is nice to go to a higher zoom. And trying to create sequences or ARPs down in an LFO where you need to make sure everything snaps to a specific grid line, it's nice to go to 125, 150% and actually be able to see what's going on. You can now define the vertical and horizontal grid in the LFO section. So harking back to what I just talked about, if you're trying to create ARPs and sequences, right, you hold down shift to get, you know, flat ramps here or flat sections. Typically, or previously, you had a grid where you could extend it up to 16, right? And that 16 would extend the grid horizontally. Well, now you have control over the vertical. Let's go back to 8. And I'm going to double click, and I'm going to type 8, 12, right? There are now 12 vertical lines, which is going to make editing and getting closer to actual finite pitch amounts in the LFO section of Serum a lot easier. All right, so another new feature that was added is actually in the wavetable editor screen. Well, it actually got a little facelift. looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit better. I like this dark gray. But there's also this reduce to, which will thin out the waveforms. So if we reduce this to 128, which is a half on this wavetable, right, it still says it's going 256 frames, right? So let's do this a couple more times. We'll go reduce to, and we'll do... We'll do eight, just be drastic, right? You'll notice it says one and then 256. That means it's applying, I would assume a crossfade. I, I haven't read the mail to be specific on it, but I, don't, I bet you it's just the crossfade uh, morph here. So even though it's two actual cycles, it's crossfading between them. So your wavetail position still has a morph, right? So that's really cool. You can then actually use wavetables. You can load up custom wavetables or load up stock wavetables and thin them out and get a different sound. So if you're going for more of a subtle sound, this is going to be a really cool feature for pads, uh, certain leads that you don't want to be kind of falling into the trap realm, the dubstep, the harder types of EDM or harder types of music where you want a huge change in sound, you just want a slight change. This is a welcome, welcomed addition. All right, the final thing that I want to talk about here and one of the added features is this is now a an official feature. So for the PC users, this will work and it is more stable on certain systems. And that is the ability to alt or option drag an LFO shape and turn it into an oscillator, right? So I'm going to create a shape here. Create like a weird kind of a hybrid triangle saw. I can hold down alt or option on my keyboard, drag this, pop it right there, and boom, we have that. And you also don't have to fix the uh, GUI issue where before, if you did that and drag and drop, it would still, and if you were on this screen right here, it would still show us that until you went to, you, you toggle between the 2D and the 3D view. So that is really cool. It's now an official you know, part of Serum and it works a little bit better. There are a couple other features that I should note. The uh, preset browser has another tier of memory. So it'll kind of sort by clicks now, which is nice. And there's a bunch of fixes, a bunch. There's only about five or six things that were added, but they're quite cool nonetheless. But if you've been having issues on your on your system or if you've been having any kind of bugs, check out the the fix list and uh, I will post that in the uh, description here. But yeah, really cool features, guys. Definitely download it. It's in your accounts, obviously free. Thank you for watching. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Sowers. I'll see you next time.